senior scientist of uh, Hideshi uh, locating in Dhaka in Bangladesh. And he, his projects uh, mainly focus uh, on infectious disease, such as typhoid fever, acute respiratory infection, and uh, full board inmate surveillance. So thank you. Good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you, Dr. Florence, for introducing me to the audience. So, actually, I will be presenting the data I collected from different sources like Ministry of Health and Education, Bangladesh, and also from published papers. So, please be noted that uh, most of the data I have collected is not mine, so just the collected data from different sources. So, febrile illnesses, this is the most common cause of hospital admission in Bangladesh. They cause considerable morbidity and deaths. Both children are, adults are affected. Diagnosis is very challenging because um, clinical manifestations are usually common among very different febrile illnesses. Up to 80% of febrile illnesses cases remain undiagnosed in the country. So the current scenario of febrile illnesses in Bangladesh Febrile illnesses that are under national surveillance in Bangladesh include malaria, dengue, tuberculosis, chikungunya, and visceral leishmaniasis. However, enteric fever, leptospirosis, and rickettsia are not under national surveillance. In addition to these uh, important uh, febrile illnesses, there are a huge number of undifferentiated uh, febrile fever in Bangladesh. First about malaria. Uh, 13 out of 64 districts are endemic for malaria, and 17.5 uh, million people are at risk. If you look at the figure at the right-hand side bottom, in 2016, uh, there were almost 28,000 cases with 17 deaths. Annual parasite index was 1.58 per 1,000 population, and mortality rate was 0 0.1 per 100,000 population. This study was done between the year 2007 and 2016. Now about dengue, uh, definitely like other countries, it is Egypt was the main vector for epidemic. And uh, however, it is albopictus has also been identified as a potential vector in Chirogang area of the country. The prevalent, uh, sorry. The prevalent serotypes that circulate in the country include dengue virus 1, dengue virus 2, and dengue virus 3. However, the highest numbers of reported cases have been attributed to dengue virus 3. The peak infection time for dengue infection is between July and October. If you look at the uh, right hand figure, uh, there are uh, uh, several outbreaks. As you can see, in one in uh, 2000 with almost 5,500 cases and 93 deaths. Another one in 2002 with more than 6,000 cases and uh, 58 deaths. However, uh, uh, according to 2017 data, there uh, were 1,641 cases with five deaths. Next, tuberculosis. The incidence and prevalent rates of all forms of tuberculosis, according to uh, 2016 study where 221 and 260 per 100,000 people, respectively. During that time, 40 per 100,000 people died of tuberculosis. The concern it is that if you look at the data from 2008 to 2016, more than 5,000 multidrug resistant TB patients had been enrolled for treatment. If you look at the right hand figure, you can see that uh, all, all forms of tuberculosis ha have an increasing uh, trend uh, with uh, extra pulmonary smear negative relapsing and smear negative new cases. Now, chikungunya, uh, Aedes mosquito is the main vector. Uh, there are a couple of outbreaks. In 2008, there was an outbreak in Dutch and Sapa and Augmas districts with uh, 39 affected people. Another 
outbreak was in 2011 in Dohar of Dhaka districts, affecting 196 patients. Sporadic cases occurred between 2013 and 16. However, the largest outbreak was recorded in 2017 when almost 3,000 suspected chikungunya cases had been identified in 1,418 uh, households. If you look at the right hand table, you can see that more than 13,000, almost uh, 14,000 patients had got admitted in different hospitals of Dhaka city in, during the 2017 outbreak. Visceral leishmaniasis, 26 districts of Bangladesh are endemic for Kalazar and uh, around 31 million people are at risk. ICD-based approach RK39 is being used for the diagnosis of Kalazar both in the field and in the hospitals. However, if you look at the figure, you can see that there is a decreasing trend of uh, visceral leishmaniasis, that is Kalazar, in Bangladesh. Enteric fever. Bangladesh is highly endemic for typhoid fever. Under five children bear the most burden with 10.5% per 100,000 person per year. In 15% of all the cases, multi-drug resistance salmonella species have been identified. However, the proportion of salmonella species, species among febrile illness patients in Bangladesh is still unknown. The left hand figure here uh, shows the positive cases for malaria, leptospirosis, typhoid, and dengue fever. A study in Kamlap reported that 8% cases of all uh, febrile illness were caused by leptospirin infection. Another study, which was conducted in between 2007 and 2010 in Chittagong, revealed that high proportions of febrile illnesses, especially leptospirosis and typhoid fever, are potentially be, being misdiagnosed as malaria. And uh, many leptospira infections uh, were detected with one or more other pathogens. Rickettsia study in Chittagong between 2014 and 15 diagnosed 16.8. 8% scoop typhus and 5.8% murine typhus among febrile illness patients. During that time, 4% uh, cases uh, had case fatality for each of scoop typhus and murine typhus. Overall, 23.1% patients had evidence of treatable recursial illnesses. In the right hand map, you can see the distribution of scoop typhus and murine typhus cases in the Sitagang areas of Bangladesh. Now, Neglected febrile illnesses, if you look at the uh, bottom figure, you can see the study detected different neglected febrile illnesses. Among them include Rickettsia, Coxiella, Leptospira, Bartonella, and Chikungunya virus among febrile patients presenting at different hospitals in Bangladesh. And the right hand map shows the distribution of febrile patients with confirmed etiologies. etiologies. Now, about uh, undifferentiated, that is unexplained febrile illnesses. According to this study, 46% of febrile illness cases remain undifferentiated. And uh, when, the, when these cases involve central nervous system, it had the highest fatality, as you can see, the, uh, as you can see here. Also, the morbidity and mortality are greatly affected by financial condition of the patients, where poor patients are more vulnerable than non-poor patients. Now look at the right hand figure. Here you can see the major causes of morbidity among forcibly distressed Myanmar Rohingya population. You know that uh, uh, that is a big concern in Bangladesh because more than 700,000 Myanmar uh, Rohingya population had been migrated to Bangladesh. Two years before, acute respiratory infection was the main cause of morbidity, but now unexplained fever has become the number one morbidity for possibly displaced Myanmar Rohingya population. Thank you for the attention.